someone I know just recently acquired a 2018 Tesla Model 3 with the idea of never having to worry about a single gas station stop, ever have to worry about maintenance, car maintenance, or even never even having to spend another time sitting at a gas station waiting for your tank to be full. Unfortunately for me today, I still have to deal with this. Why don't you just hack into this car, make it unusable, then when they throw it away, you can just do it. Shut up, IT nerd. No one is going to listen to you to think that you can just hack into a Tesla. Suit yourself, idiot. I will do it one day. Although I do not believe IT nerd has what it takes to break into a highly sophisticated car like Tesla with all its automations, he does bring up a very good point. What is the future of car automations in terms of cybersecurity? You know, can they get it hacked into today? How easy is it? Me being a cybersecurity and aspiring cybersecurity professional, I decided to look into car brands and vendors like Tesla to see exactly what they are doing to take a proactive measure from a cybersecurity standpoint. Cybersecurity is a big topic in today's headlines with the many news articles outlining user data misuse, security breaches, and port of limitations of security controls on a weekly basis. With all this in mind, it can seem quite intimidating. No, I don't even know what I'm saying. With all this in mind, it can seem quite intimidating when you have financial records, sensitive information, or anything that you can personally identify with out online subject to exposure and hack. What if security breaches, infiltrations, and hacks were making news regarding the new automations in cars like Tesla today? One of Tesla's most well-known and predominant features is called the Tesla Autopilot Mode. The title literally alludes to itself. The car can drive itself. I know I keep saying itself, but literally, with a double tap on the right knob twice, the car takes full control, maintaining the same speed that you set in the steering wheel is no longer yours. As odd as it may seem to be, you can actually let go of the gas pedals and the steering wheel, and the car will go around bends and curves like you would if you were in full control. This feature can come quite handy when you are doing long trips on the highway or do you need to just grab something in the back of your car really quickly. In addition to its astounding technologies regarding car automation Tesla has involved with their autopilot mode, they also have an astounding 0-60 to 60 time coming in around 3.3 seconds. You gotta remember this is a daily driver car. The Model 3 that I had the privilege to uh, ride in and actually drive had a zero to 60 time in 3.3 seconds because of its track pack. Due to its electric motor, Tesla cars can reach their maximum torque from the time you push the gas pedal in. Combine both of these predominant features that Tesla provides with a whole bunch of other sophisticated technologies included. And we can see from the average consumer standpoint that really, honestly, these cars are really cool and they honestly could beat their gasoline powered competitors if you're really into the technology. But of course, there's more to a story than this. With fully equipped self-driving capabilities, cars like Tesla are really posing a security risk than they ever have before to the car industry. These scenarios are not limited to Tesla itself. In mid-July 2015, an article was published and was trending on Wired, featuring a Jeep Grand Cherokee. The tests conducted in this very city, St. Louis, demonstrated how hackers could start blasting cold air at the maximum setting, switch the radio controls, and prevent the accelerator from working. With the thought and idea of hackers taking control of your car can seem quite daunting. Think about the potential for traffic collisions, for potential car accidents, or just traffic itself that a hacker could impose on millions of cars if they were all connected to the internet. So the thought presumes, can cars like Tesla be hacked today? To address this point, 
Let's look at what Tesla has publicly said about the cybersecurity and the security within their products. A common practice taught by the security and implemented by the software engineering communities is called Secure by Design. Secure by Design is building a product, application, or software program from the security standpoint up. Several predominant companies, as we've seen within even the last five years, have sacrificed security for better usability and to meet market demands. Security is seen from their perspective as an added layer rather than a required control. Are companies like Tesla implementing secure by design practices? Are they overlooking security for better end user usability and to meet market demands regarding their new Tesla Model 3s and even their Model S's and X's? Tesla founder and CEO Elon Musk has actually publicly stated what he thinks about cybersecurity and his biggest concern regarding security in the future of Tesla. Uh, with your background in payment systems, uh, you understand uh, the important role of uh, security and transactions. Uh, yeah. Now that you've got, I, I think security is a huge concern. Like cyber security. Yes, and you're in in, a, in, a, in the vehicles you're building now are incredibly complex software systems. I mean, the car is really yep. a rolling piece of software. It is. It's like a laptop on wheels. Yes. So, uh, share with us a little bit about uh, your thoughts on cyber security. I think one of the biggest uh, risks for autonomous vehicles is somebody achieving um, a fleet-wide hack. Um, you know, in principle, if, if somebody was able to hack, say, all of the autonomous Teslas, they could say, I mean, just as a prank, they could say, like, send them all to Rhode Island <laughs> from across the United States. <laughs> we got to make super sure that, uh, that a fleet-wide hack is basically impossible and that if people are in the car, that they have uh, override authority on uh, whatever the car is doing. So if the car is doing something wacky, uh, you can press a button, that no amount of software can override that will ensure that the, uh, you, you, you gain control of the vehicle. Within the car, we actually have, even, even if somebody gains access to the car, there are multiple subsystems within the car that, that, that also have uh, specialized encryption. So the powertrain, for example, has specialized encryption. So even if somebody would gain access to the car, they cannot gain access to the powertrain or to the braking system. It's gonna become a bigger and bigger concern. It, like Tesla's, um, I don't want to tempt fate here, but Tesla's, Tesla's pretty good at software compared to the other car companies. Um, and um, so I do think it's going to be a bit like an even bigger challenge for, for the other car companies to ensure security. The biggest security concern displayed in the video was exactly what IT Nerd had hinted at in the intro, a fleet-wide hack. Multi-layered encryption as Elon had said in the video, was one of the solutions that Tesla was implementing right now, at least at the time of this video. Tesla started producing their flagship model, the Tesla Model S, back in the beginning of 2012. Did they have a security conscious in mind? In addition to publicly stating and implementing their multi-layered encryption on all three of their models right as of right now, Tesla also has a product security page. This page details how security researchers could participate in bug bounty programs, which are funded campaigns used to encourage security personnel to hack and ethically report identified weaknesses and vulnerabilities in systems. If we scroll down, we can even see a Tesla Security Researcher Hall of Fame, where they publicly announce successful security researchers who have successfully identified flaws in their systems. These two security controls are just a start to what needs to happen regarding the security and cybersecurity within the car industry. When we look up Tesla cybersecurity or security in a Tesla, we do not see many results yielded to us, meaning there's still a big lack of communication regarding what is happening behind the scenes of the Tesla product team. Are they truly serious about the security state of a car? Unfortunately, we really don't know as there isn't much public attention towards the security of Tesla. Although it does appear Tesla wants to keep security embedded in mind, as we continue to progress to an automated world, there needs to be more public space and attention towards the security concerns of Tesla. We are seeing a tremendous lack in having a public connection. It's time to solve this issue by bringing real awareness behind the subject. With the future of the car automation in mind, we need to ensure the best possible security. Perhaps for now, my jealousy regarding the frequent gas station stops or the yearly car maintenance will be triumphed knowing that I have full control of my car.
But do I? Do I have full control of my car? Only time will tell.